Hi guys, welcome back. So today's recipe is uh, Italian pasta and for that I have taken around 2 cups of pasta and uh, the vegetables is broccoli, potato and sweet corn. That's all what I have. So I have chopped the broccoli, not very small, not very big. Potatoes uh, also I have chopped it into a medium size and sweet corn. So now I am going to boil the pasta with little bit of uh, oil and salt and uh, you can see that it is cooked. At this time I am going to strain it. Now for white sauce I have taken amul butter. So I have around uh, 2 tablespoons of butter with me. So once your pan is hot you are going to add the butter and you are going to allow the butter to melt. So now once the butter has melted, I am adding around 1 tablespoon of maida and I am going to stir it extremely well so that there is no lumps that is formed. To this, immediately I will be adding around 2 cups of milk. And you have to keep stirring it so that no lumps are found and you will see that the milk starts to thicken slowly. Now this is a simple uh, way how you make the white sauce in general when you want to make pasta. Now once it starts to thicken, it's slightly thicken now, to this we will add our seasonings and the vegetables that we had chopped earlier. So now I add around 3 pods of garlic very finely chopped to the white sauce and I am going to give it a nice stir and then we will be adding the vegetables that we had chopped that's the broccoli, sweet corn and potatoes. Make sure you keep stirring. Now I am adding approximately 2 tablespoons of uh, tomato ketchup and I am going to give it a nice stir. Now here I feel that it has become little thick. So at this point of time you will be adding 1 cup of warm water to it. So after you add 1 cup of warm water you can give it a nice stir. So now it's time to add some seasonings. So I am going to add around 1 teaspoon of uh, salt. Remember you had boiled the pasta with salt and oil. So add salt accordingly. Little bit of chilli powder to give it a slight spice. Then to that around uh, half teaspoon of uh, thyme leaves. Uh, half a teaspoon of rosemary leaves. I am going to add to this. And after giving it a slight stir, I am going to add again half a teaspoon of basil. If you like more flavor, you can add as per your taste. After this, we add the pasta that we had strained some time back. And you really need to mix it really well. Now, after mixing the pasta, I have taken a baking tray on which I have put the butter paper. And on that, I will be pouring this pasta. Now, the pasta is in a very watery form as you can see. So, that is on purpose because uh, once we put it for baking, all the water would be evaporated. So, after spreading it equally, now I am going to give it a layer of cheese. I have taken cheese slices here and I am going to layer it with cheese and uh, you can see it really looks very colorful and uh, yummy. After layering the cheese now I would be garnishing it with little bit of coriander leaves and uh, some more ketchup to just give it a good look. So once this is done now I have preheated my oven for approximately uh, 10 minutes at 180 degrees now I am going to put this pasta in for next 20 minutes it's a preheated oven and I'm going to place the pasta so 20 minutes and that's it 
so let's wait so now here you can see that the cheese has melted the excess uh, water is gone and our pasta is ready so friends hope you like the recipe serve it to your family hot and sizzling so that's all for today so that's how i have set up my tables please try the recipe and do let me know your comments hope you all enjoy this recipe so take care bye bye